How was it that this cute breed grabbed the attention of American families? It was trained to walk on a tightrope. Well, any dog that you can train to do that. Although controversial, in the early 20th century, circuses in the United States not only highlighted the American Eskimo's agile ability, but also sold them as pets to audience members. Like Although they are extremely smart and trainable, they actually take longer to mature than other breeds and can carry puppy behavior up to two years, which is up to a year longer than most dogs. And contrary to their name, they're neither American nor Eskimo. The breed actually descended from the German Spitz and was brought to America by European immigrants. Due to anti-German sentiment that was around at the time, they changed the name from German to American. And the Eskimo was the name of a kennel that, that they came from. The American Eskimo kennel owned by F.M. Hall and his wife may have lent its name, but it was a fitting one, given the similar characteristics the breed shares with other Nordic dogs. One characteristic is their two-layer coat, comprised of a short, dense undercoat and a longer outer coat that not only provides warmth, but some built-in air conditioning as well because that undercoat will actually trap air and cool them off. They have a healthy plumed tail that curls to the side or over the back. And it does require fastidious grooming and brushing, um, but it can be beautiful. And American Eskimos have very distinct black lips, nose, and rims of the eyes that stand out against its all-white coat. Additional dark markings can also develop just underneath the eyes as a result of tear staining. This occurs when tiny hairs on the inner eyelid wick moisture away from the eye. The hair below the eye then facilitates additional wicking. Moisture settles away from the eye and wets the fur, creating a breeding ground for bacteria and yeast, which is fairly harmless but causes a stain. It's important to keep this area clean. But unlike other Nordic dogs, the American Eskimo's looks don't tell its true worth. Because of its name and the way it looks, you think that it was bred for sledding, but it actually was bred for companionship. The American Eskimo comes in three sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. However, all are fairly adaptable to most living spaces, but they still need daily exercise. True-bred American Eskimos are generally healthy dogs. However, irresponsible breeding can make these dogs susceptible to hip, knee, and eye problems. Take one look and you'll know what this breed's beautiful coat needs. They've got a lot of hair and require a lot of grooming, so you gotta be dedicated to that. They're an extremely trainable dog with a great deal of enthusiasm. If enough effort goes into training, the American Eskimo can be a very good family dog. So American Eskimos are adaptable to all environments, but they need daily exercise. They can be prone to knee and eye problems, but are otherwise a healthy breed. American Eskimos will require a lot of effort in the grooming department. They can be easily trained, which is an important step if you plan to have them as a family dog. If you're looking for a great companion and if you put in the time to train it, the American Eskimo can become your best fluffy friend.